All right, then. This is it. The Deli Ali RTG. Let's make him the GOAT. So, I was pretty sure I wasn't getting picked to start the games by Sean Dyke, so I had to make an extra effort to play well during the preseason games. Sadly for me, I couldn't score or even assist anyone, but I still managed to get a good match rating even though I only played the last 10 minutes of every game. With the preseason friendlies done, it was time to get into the first game of the season against Fulham. I was given 15 minutes to play and, within 5 minutes of being on the pitch, I banged the winning goal. I really couldn't ask for a better start to the season. On to the next game, I came on on the 85th minute. We were drawing 1-1 against Aston Villa, and again, who else but Deli Ali to the rescue, scoring the winning goal in the 88th minute of the game. After the win against Aston Villa, it was time to play the Carabao Cup. I scored my penalty, and then Pickford saved two penalties to give us the win. Next game, we faced Wolverhampton, and I managed to get a Trevelle assist for better to score. Then we faced Arsenal in Goodison Park, but sadly they were too much for us, I still managed to score this amazing volley, and then I kinda assisted for a goal, but ultimately we ended up losing the match. Luton was a walk in the park for the team in general, but for me as well. I got 2 assists and I ended the game with 8.8 .8 rating. So for the next 2 games we would be facing West Ham United, on the first one I get an amazing goal, and then in the dying moments of the game I get an assist to Beto. This was my best game for the team so far, so things were looking up for me. The other match is a Carabao Cup fixture, and again we take the match to penalties, I score my penalty, and Pickford gives us the win again. Then we face Crystal Palace, within the first minutes of being on the pitch I get the first goal. After this goal we end up conceding two goals, and one on the 91st minute, but of course Deli Ali to the rescue again, scoring to equalize 2-2 on the dying embers of the game. Next up we face Newcastle, and after ages of coming out from the bench, I finally start the game. For Everton. I put up a good performance, I get an amazing solo goal on the match, but ultimately it's not enough and we end up losing 3-1 to Newcastle. We go out again against Chelsea, I get the winning goal, a solo run on the 30th minute of the game, it was enough to put us past them, and then on the next match against Burnley, I get an assist from a corner. Next we face Aston Villa, we need to make progress on the Carabao Cup, again, I score my penalty, the team does their job and Pickford saves us again. On the last match of the year we faced Manchester City, all I could get in that match is an assist from a cross, but it wasn't enough to prevent the loss to Manchester City. So, January, this is where we are. Everton on the 7th place in the Premier League, we are on to the 3rd round of the Emirates FA Cup, and we're also on the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. As for me, I've played 24 matches, we got 13 wins, 4 draws, 7 losses, I've got 10 goals and 5 assists, and my agent is recommending me to choose a career path. I could choose Brighton, West Ham, Chelsea or Dortmund. What should I do next? Should I stay at Everton? Should I make one of these my target club? Well, you choose, 